Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Jemskal and welcome to a Sims Free Play house tour. So we have just had the kids party event. Let me know down below how did you get on with it. It is now finished. I did manage to complete it and I won the party house. I hope you all managed to complete it too. With the prizes that we got from that, I have built Ice Cream Shake Shack, which is kind of a ice cream parlour bit of a cafe milkshake type of place where all the kids go and hang out after school. This is what it looks like from the town map. It's quite a simple build. Let's go and take a closer look. Here it is in full view from the outside. So as you can see I built it on a gingerbread house template because I felt like that kind of fitted in with the whole theme. So we've got the the gingerbread pavement around the edge here and the gingerbread bin and mailbox and path up to the lot. And then it is a two-story build, although the second story is really just balcony. There's not much going on up there, but I like how it looks. This is how it looks from the front. And there was two colours with the decoration, so it's kind of like the pastel colour and the, the bright colours, and I went with the bright colours, the kind of the green, red and blue colours rather than the pastel, and so for the actual build I used the blue brick and the green roof, which I feel goes really well with the decorations. I'll just show you around the back briefly, so there's a little staff entrance door here, that's where the staff go in to get to the back to the kitchen. As you can see, there's some gingerbread stairs up there to go up to the top and this is where customers can come out and go upstairs if they choose to. So we have this outside area which is full of tables and chairs for people to come and sit and eat their ice cream out here or you know, their, drink their shakes. I have used the signage there as that's kind of their logo and so you can see two of them on the path there and two of them on this path. Oh look at that little toddler just sitting <laughs> on the path there. Bless him. I used the tables, the long tables and actually some of the shorter tables that we got in the event to use out here along with the gingerbread candy chairs. I just thought they went really well and I really do like those chairs actually. So we have two kind of, well not two entrances but two kind of pathways here that I've separated by using different patios. This is the main entrance into the building but if you don't want to go into the building and you just kind of want to get a takeaway, just grab an ice cream and go, you can come and use this path here and this is kind of where, so it's separated out here, there's two lines you go down here, order your ice cream, this is supposed to be like an open window, order your ice cream and then you can either leave or you can sit on one of these tables out here and enjoy your ice cream in the sun. I like that area, I kind of set it back a little bit, put some windows here and I used the, the, like the posters. I don't kind of know what to explain there, I don't know what they're actually called within the game, but these kind of posters, wall decorations up here and I also put them actually inside if you look at the the above bit, like this is all just for decoration. I use them in there along with some of the balloons because you can see them like from the outside as you walk up. You can see the wall decorations and you can see the balloons there. So I kind of I really like that. So as you are coming up this path, you will see that like the balcony above. I just put some decorations up there, put a party arch. I've put this pinata, I kind of I took it away and put it back and I couldn't decide. It disturbs me that it's not like, okay, so let me show you. If I go into build mode, I hate that it is not facing, I don't know, like, do you know what I mean? Like it's diagonal. It stresses, stresses me out a little bit that, but I've left it up there because I feel like, I don't know, like as you approach, like to have that there, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what I feel about it, to be honest, but I've got this party arch here and I've got some, some balloons up there that you see which I kind of, do, I think of them as not being balloons, as just being like ornamental structures more so than balloons. But let's go inside. So when you go through the doors, you just have a little entranceway here. 
that you walk through and it's not huge inside because this is in a hot place and most people they're going to grab an ice cream and they want to sit outside they don't really want to be inside and so there's not a huge amount of space actually inside to sit and eat your ice cream or you know drink your shake or whatever and I have used the party tables you can see this guy here he was just drinking some of his shake there oh he's going crazy <laughs> yeah I really like these party tables they're pretty cool and you can add they don't come with these I'm sure you know this by now but they don't come with these things on so these are e added extras so the party table just looks like that with nothing in the middle and then you add on whatever you want so I've just got some what are they are they pizzas I think they're pizzas like little mini parts of pe party pizzas there and some little cupcakes over on this table they're all having a ball enjoying their shakes there this is where you would come and order from the inside my little guy has left there was a guy standing there serving all the customers he must be on a break but this is the counter which I've used the ice themed counters I kind of thought it fitted in quite nice I quite like them we have some more of these wall posters I kind of just think that they look really cool to be honest and then as you can see if you stand in here and order you can look through this ginger bread frame candy cane frame doorway to where the chocolate here I feel like that worked better than to have a stove back here the the things that they sell are mainly kind of sweet treats so like you sh like milkshakes and ice cream and things chocolates cupcakes so our little chocolatier is back here and you can see them at work as you're ordering which I really liked that idea and this is kind of like the kitchen area where everything where everything is made and then this is where they would also stand so this is to the outside bit there so they would stand in there and serve the customers that came along just for the like the takeaway bit of it and this is the door that goes out there so that's where the door goes the staff entrance goes straight into the kitchen there so they can just start work straight away I've just realized that there are no toilets <laughs> I completely have forgotten to put toilets I think that's illegal to have somewhere. Is it illegal to have somewhere? I think in real life, if you serve food and drink, like in a place like this, you you have to provide toilets. We are breaking the law in this place. Oh dear, never mind. We'll have to renovate and put some toilet <laughs> to put some toilets in. But for now, you can go out of the back, like I showed you before. You've got this back door here. The customers can come and they can come up the gingerbread candy cane themed stairs up to the roof if they want and just sit up here and enjoy their food and that is a little tour of ice cream shake shack the illegal ice cream shake shack that may be shut down soon if they don't build some toilets <laughs> so there you go let me know what you think of it down below in the comments let me know what you have also built with the party stuff did you enjoy these items you know just let me know your opinions down below in the comments but thank you so much for watching give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new and i will see you soon for a new video thanks for watching bye <laughs>